Frankenstein. Uh, happy Sunday, everybody. If you're watching this now, uh, if you're watching this live, go ahead and comment. Let me know where you are in the U.S. Or if you're not in the U.S., maybe you're in Canada, U.K. I know I have some people in Japan, China, and I've also seen some people in the Netherlands and Australia and Germany and Austria and Yugoslavia. So people everywhere. But anyways, comment, let me know where you are if you're watching this video right now. Um, and so I get tons of questions about diet. And uh, actually, the question first is, how do I lose belly fat or how do I get rid of midsection fat? And the answer is uh, you do stuff. You do yoga in a way that helps you build muscle. And you also add in resistance training and weights and pull ups and other calisthenics if if you want to do that and if you want to get stronger. Um, and if you want to build muscle more quickly, or maybe uh, if you have the joints, if you have the, that, the necessary strength for it, um, then you can start doing weights, calisthenics in addition uh, to your, um, in addition to yoga. But uh, as a baseline, make sure you're doing yoga and focusing on building muscle with yoga. But the second part of that is diet. And uh, that's something that you can't get around. So you cannot outwork a bad diet and you cannot outwork a bad sleep schedule or sleep bad sleep routine. So I'm going to show you what I get on a weekly basis uh, right now. All right. So let's get let's let's get into this and I'll go through this one by one. All right. So let me just let me just let me just aim this at, at this so I don't have to do this. All right. So um, I've got all oil spray. The reason why I have this sometimes I don't need I don't need perfect. So sometimes what I'll have is um, I'll make pizza. Uh, we'll do homemade pizza. So we'll buy the dough. Uh, we'll put peppers on it. Um, anyways, I bought this for that. So that's not too important. Uh, sauce. Make sure you have some nice pasta sauce. Uh, I don't have pasta too often. Maybe once every other week. Uh, but I do like to have pasta from now and now and again. Coconut milk is something that I have in my smoothies. So I mix this in with uh, with my power greens, with berries, with stuff like that. Uh, just some pasta sauce. Um, and then I've got coffee here. I've got coffee here. Um, so I drink, co I have coffee on a, in the morning, um, obviously, uh, sometimes I'll have bulletproof coffee. If you guys know what that is, then cool. If you don't look it up, it's really easy. Albacore tuna. This is actually for my dogs. So I mix this in with their kibble. And we've got uh, cauliflower rice. So I'll have this instead of rice. I'll have this kind of like as a starch. It's not a starch, it's vegetables, but I'll kind of have that in place of rice. So if I make like a stir fry or something like that. Power greens, this is the main ingredient of my smoothie. So I'll mix this in with my smoothie every morning. Um, this is so wrong. What's wrong, Kyle? I gotta stop. I gotta stop reading these comments. All right, so let's go through this. Um, peppers. If you look, actually, let's take a step back and look at everything. So if you look at everything that I have here, almost all of it is vegetables or produce. Um, very little of this is anything other than that. Um, all right. So peppers, uh, I have peppers a lot. Um, I'll mix them, the, you know, I'll mix them with, let's say I'll mix them with broccoli. I'll mix them with squash and zucchini sometime. Um, I'll also have these with eggs. I don't have eggs. I used to have eggs every day and I kind of backed off of that because my body was getting intolerant to eggs because I was having it so much. Um, but um, eggs once a week, twice a week, maybe usually once a week, if that. All right. Tomatoes. So my girlfriend loves to make caprese. So we'll do some caprese. We'll mix mozzarella with this. Um, and you can also use tomatoes as garnish with a lot of other stuff. Asparagus. Uh, if you're from Germany or if you're Germanic or uh, from that area, um, you want to have asparagus, really easy to make. Um, just put it on a pan, cover it with olive oil, put on some salt and pepper. It's done. Super easy. Put it in at 400 degrees and cook it. Irish butter, um, unsalted. Notice that I have unsalted butter. So there's a lot of, there are some people who would tell you that butter is good for you. There are some people who would say that butter is horrible. Um, I am not a nutritional scientist, so I can't tell you, but I can tell you that based on all the research that I've done, uh, butter is okay. And butter is okay if you have it from a high quality butter. So meaning from grass fed cows. Okay. So you don't want to have like, sh you want to have it from grass fed cows and you want to have unsalted. So butter's fine in moderate amounts, um, as long as it's grass fed and unsalted, you much prefer to have, uh, butter over margarine. And, uh, this has been proven, 
uh, time and time again. Um, so, uh, and I actually just listened to a podcast called Revisionist History, where they go into uh, talking, where they go into um, why uh, just normal fat products are better than margarine or vegetable uh, solutions. And actually people who were having full fat foods um, were, they weren't living longer. They were actually dying from heart disease. Um, but people from, people who were having vegetable, people who were having vegetable-based products, so like um, Crisco and uh, let's say like, like margarine spread, um, they were actually, uh, sorry, just had a brain fried. Uh, they were actually dying sooner uh, from a different cause. So um, I highly recommend having butter. Don't have margarine. Definitely, definitely don't have margarine. Uh, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story. We won't get into that today. All right, asparagus, we've got squash, uh, zucchini and squash. Um, sorry, I had some comments. Let me go back and read those. Um, let's see here. Exactly the kind of foods I eat. Uh, okay, exactly what I need right now. Love asparagus, awesome. Lots of things are okay in moderation. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, I buy vegan butter. That's cool. This is exactly the kind of foods that I don't eat. I only eat asparagus, Louis Acosta. Um, you don't like it. Well, then don't eat foods you don't like. Uh, if you're having eggs once or twice a week, what's a common breakfast meal for you? So what I'll have for uh, breakfast is I'll have my leftovers. I'll have dinner from the night before. And mostly I'll have my, um, mostly I'll have my, uh, my, my green smoothie. So I'll have green smoothie. I'll have berries in it. And I'll have some other ingredients that I mix in. All right. And then uh, the comments show, uh, let's see here. Besides eggs, what you have for breakfast? That was the, okay, I answered that question. All right, cool, let's move on. Um, let's see here. All right, so flaxseed. So flaxseed is another thing that I put in my, flaxseed is another thing that I put in uh, my smoothie. So I'll put in two tablespoons of that with the smoothie. Um, avocados, I have avocados pretty much with as many things as I can. So I'll have them for dinner. Um, I'll have avocados for dinner. Can low testosterone cause belly fat? Yes, it can. Um, actually they're, they, they both help one another basically. And this is a, uh, my actual battery's dying. So I gotta go quick. All right. So, uh, moving on, got all this, got all this over here. Uh, I've got pasture raised grass fed, uh, boneless chicken or pasture roaming. Anyways, very high quality chicken. I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a paleo, uh, chicken parm with that, uh, rump roast from Buffalo. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to make a, um, I'm going to make a, I'll either make like a stir fry with that, or I will do a crock pot thing where I use like a tikka masala sauce. Um, and this is just ground beef. Um, pasture raised, so very high quality ground beef. I'm gonna make a hash with that. So I'm mixing peppers, I'll mix in broccoli, and I'll mix in onions with that. All right, my berries, berries are for my smoothie. Um, lemon juice, lemon juice is, a, I make a really cool fish uh, recipe called basil, basil butter mahi. Um, and it's basically butter, olive oil, lemon, lemon, uh, lemon juice, uh, basil, parsley, and onion. And I kind of mix it all together and I put fish and kind of soak it in there for about 30 minutes. Uh, limeade, I put this in my Topo Chico, mineral water, balsamic, that is for our caprese salads. And then cheese, I get high quality cheese. Uh, you don't need to eat, I just, this is kind of like a snack for me. This is like, I eat just a little bit of it and uh, it's just kind of like a treat for me or it's uh, extra flavor for my food. Um, but get high quality cheese and that's a good fat. Uh, you don't wanna eat really, you don't wanna eat low quality cheese, eat high quality cheese. Um, Sprinkle it on top. That'll help you get some good fats. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, cheeses, Pepper Jack cheese, Organic Valley, made in Wisconsin. Woo, Wisconsin cheese. Um, and then sweet potatoes. I will have sweet potatoes almost every day. I'll mix them in with, um, sometimes I'll mix them in with my leftovers. Um, sometimes I'll mix them in with eggs. Um, and sometimes I'll have them at night. Especially if I have worked out a lot, I'm gonna have more sweet potatoes. And then onions. I'll have onions with almost uh, everything. Uh, I'll make those into, uh, I'll make those in with my, my hash that I make with the, uh, kind of the Buffalo stuff and with, uh, peppers and, 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 uh, and broccoli, which you don't see it. Cause I already have enough of that. And yeah, so that's my, if you want to step back, take a look at all of this. So that is my grocery list for the week. Um, so I know that again, 
Lots of people ask me about diet. I'll take back and kind of do a different. Lots of people ask me about diet. Um, and that is what it takes. But you'll notice that there are no processed foods here, right? I have nothing that comes in like a box. I don't have, I don't have any cereal. I don't have any mac and cheese. I don't have, um, I don't have anything that is prepared food. Everything I make myself, it's all raw foods. Um, so that's the first step is just eliminate processed foods, get real food. Notice, I, notice how many vegetables I have, right? Like compared to everything else, half of what I buy is vegetables. Um, and then I pay extra to get good beef. Um, I go to Whole Foods just because it has really high quality beef. So I go there, um, and I do pay extra for it, but I know that I'm getting high quality beef and that's important to me, um, because, uh, that means that they're not using chemicals. It means that the, uh, the beef is high quality, that it will be better on my body. It's not going to, uh, as easily cause heart disease and things that people in high cholesterol and things that people get from having low quality beef. Um, so yeah, um, the, it's not about avoiding red meat. It's about having good quality red meat. Uh, probably don't eat it every day. Um, but high quality red meat is fine. Uh, at least in my opinion, you may say something else. You may disagree with me. That's fine. But in my opinion, um, red beef, red, high quality red beef is fine. And I'm going to keep eating it. Um, and yeah, so that's everything. Um, and I use my Vitamix a lot, uh, for the smoothies. So that's what I make in the smoothies. And then I will also add chia seeds, flax seed, uh, which you already saw. And I'll add refined coconut oil and then a collagen peptide protein from natural force. Um, so naturalforce.com, uh, collagen peptide protein. That's a really cool protein supplement, extremely high quality. Um, and yeah. All right, cool. Um, Cal, I don't know what you mean by honey. I'm trying to respond to you, but um, honey's fine. Uh, just have it in low quality. I mean, in low quantities. So you want to have raw honey um, and you want to have honey that's made specific to your geographical location. So if you live in Texas, or in central Texas, for example, for me, I'm gonna have honey that's made in central Texas. You don't wanna order something from New Zealand. Uh, if you live in Wisconsin, you wanna have honey from Wisconsin. Um, so if that helps with the honey thing. And that's it. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, oh, stuff coming up. Uh, tomorrow I'll be launching Guy Yoga for free, just pay shipping. Um, so. If you're not on my email list already, get on my email list at manpleyoga.com uh, slash sign dash up, uh, and you'll be able to get access to that offer. It's going to be uh, just $5 for shipping, and that gets you a Guy Yoga DVD for free. It's a pretty awesome offer. We've already had, we launched this to our VIPs this weekend, and we actually already sold out of, uh, of the companion guides that we sell with them. So um, very popular offer right now, but limited quantities. And uh, it's, we've already had, we've sold half of them already. And uh, that's without even going public with the offer. So um, if you want to get uh, access to my DVD, it's just $5 with shipping. Uh, make sure you are paying attention to social media or on my, on my email list. That happens tomorrow. And uh, New Yorkers, if you're watching this from New York, I've got, a, I've got a workshop coming up in New York, focusing on yoga, uh, yoga as the strength X factor. So we're going to talk about how yoga can help you improve your performance, build more muscle, all that good stuff. Um, and that's going to be in New York on April 21st. That's enough for now. Uh, make sure you're following my other social media on Instagram and on Facebook. Just facebook.com slash yoga, instagram.com slash yoga. Follow me there. Because uh, I put different content on all these different channels. So what you see on YouTube, you might not see on Facebook. Vice versa on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, yeah, that should be good for today. Guys, have an awesome weekend or the rest of the weekend, or if you're watching this sometime other than the weekend, hope you're having a good day. Uh, hope this video was helpful. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Um, and uh, start buying better foods. Don't buy shitty foods. That's the secret. If you don't buy shitty foods, you won't eat shitty foods. It's really simple. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one.